Vienna, Carl Grammer's team has made an important breakthrough in the scientific study of infidelity. Research has shown that when women expose their flesh and make exaggerated body movements, it causes male testosterone levels to rise. Grammer wanted to see if women amped up their flirtation techniques when they were ovulating. So he set up a mobile laboratory in one of Vienna's night spots. Each woman gave a saliva sample which pinpointed where she was in her menstrual cycle and said whether she was single or had a steady partner. Then Dr. Grammer recorded how they danced. And photographed how much bare skin they were showing. We use the outlay program and we go around with a pointer and mark the whole outline of the figure first. Then we measure the amount of pixels. These are 40,000 pixels in there. And the second step is then to mark only the skin. So now we have the skin only and we have a percentage me measure of the skin shown. We have 11,000 pixels. She is showing 25% enough for a very cold autumn evening. We have a digital movie now and what we basically do is we try to identify regions in the film where motion occurred. So there are little arrows which depict the motion, the direction of the motion and the amount of the motion. When they added up how much women moved when dancing and the amount of skin they exposed and compared it to the women's questionnaires, they reached a stunning but consistent conclusion. Actually, we found something quite shocking in our research. Those women who actually had a long-term partner but went out with a friend, not with their partner, were those who sent the most sexual signals, so who exposed most of their skin and um, moved most attractive. Women who were ovulating were more flirtatious. Not only that, women who were ovulating and had a steady partner were the most flirtatious of all. Women provoke competition by going out on their fertile days, having their long-term partner at home and sending sexual signals and then, yes, maybe do some double mating or whatever.